I told my wife when I got with her, I said, look, I'll do anything for you except one thing. I will not give up on that dream. If I got to surrender my dream, I, I'd rather be alone. Because if I abandon my dream, I'll abandon you. I truly believe that. I see so many people, man, they give up their dream for the wife. They give up their dream for the husband. They give up their, and then, and then the wife and the husband get together and they have kids and then they give up their dream again because of the kids. And I said, the day we have kids, we cannot blame the kids for not going after our potential and our dreams. If we ever have kids, when we were getting together. And she wasn't ready to have kids. She wasn't even ready for me. And, and so I knew she was the right person for me. And I'm like, look, I'll give you anything. Monogamy, I'll never cheat on you. I'll never jack around on you. I'll, I'll take care of you. I'll, I'll provide you with a life that you can only dream of. This was 12 years ago. I mean, this is way before Grant really hit full Grant and, and which she's really um, added to and made it easier. But um, I said, look, if, you, if, you, if I gotta be less than who I'm meant to be, to be with you, can't give you that. So I said, I got books in me. This was before I'd ever written a book. I said, I got books in me. I'm gonna do the biggest events in the world. I'm gonna do a TV show, okay? I will, I will be known by millions, if not billions of people. And I will leave a legacy. And, and, and that, that has been with me before I ever met you. And I'm not giving that up, because if I give that up, I'll give you up. I think it's priorities. It's, I think it's, you know, watching my dad die, and, and he did everything right, everything. He worked hard, saved his money, paid his debts off, respected his name, he was respected in the community. He did everything right and when he died, my mom had to, my mom had to start hustling and shuffling and scared and she was, he did everything right and it didn't work. So when I saw that, when I saw my dad was, my mom was having to sell my dad's dream house a week after he died, I'm like, something's wrong with the game he's playing. So I've been challenging the game the whole time, like, oh, my dad was taught, he was taught the wrong rules. And he played by the rules and it still didn't get him out. It's the middle class mythology. You know, it's, it's the idea that I'm gonna have just enough. So since then I've been challenged, really looking at everything that masses of people believe in. Family first. You know, this thing, people throw that around all the time. I'm blessed. Everybody says they're blessed. Yeah, but you know, go prove it. Go prove, we're all blessed, go prove it. So these are some things that I just like, like the dream thing, I'm like, is family first or was my dream first? Well, in my case, my dream was before my family.